Hey guys, Flipman. So I'm standing in my Chandler Airbnb property that just crushes it. So I've owned this since 2005. I bought it brand new from Pulte, a national builder. It's in a gated community. Paid 155 back in the day. Today it's worth well over 500,000. The market went crazy in this area. So it was a long-term rental for me guys for 15 years. And during the 15 years, I've had a variety of tenants in and out of the property. One thing I noticed in my experience with long-term rentals, tenants do not stay very long. So that's a negative. They'll sign a one-year lease typically. That's the standard lease that we sign in Arizona. I'm sure other parts of the country are very similar. So typically it's a 12 month lease. And after the 12 months, you could either renew it or not renew it. So a lot of times the tenants would come and say, oh, we're moving to another state. Oh, we lost our job. So it gets difficult because people never stay long in the long-term rentals from my uh, vast experience in the long-term rental game. And guess what? you come in and after they've been here a year, they don't treat it as their own property. So I've had multiple, multiple move outs and then the cleanups and the expenses, the issues with repairs. A lot of times they don't report, oh, we kicked the hole in the door. So there's just a variety of things that makes it very difficult to track the property as a long-term property because you're not in there very much as long as they're paying the rent. So at the end of 2020, I decided to convert this one into a short-term rental. As you guys have followed my story, I converted all my properties from long-term to short-term. This one, like I said in the beginning, crushes it. The location is kind of far out for some people, but Chandler's a great growing area for families, community. One of the main things that people really like, they feel safe in this property is short-term rental. So we have people that stay three, three days. We have people that stay three months in here. Our last guest just checked out. They were here 45 days, so they feel very safe at being a gated community. There's a number of parks in the community, which is, we always get compliments about that. The stores are very close. The grocery store is right behind us. There's a lot of food places around here. So that that's all benefit when you're looking for your first short-term rental. Make sure it's surrounded by amenities such as parks. Gated makes it really nice. Also make sure there's restaurants, there's shopping where they could even walk to those places if they would like, if the weather's nice. So those are all big benefits of the location. This one happens to be extremely close to my personal home. So it was great. I would recommend that if you have one that your first one, get it close to where you live. So we came in and renovated this after our last tenant was here and it was a mess. She had always paid rent on time. So I never came over, but like everything needed to be torn out. It was just very dirty. They were just very hard on the property. So we came in and renovated it. The reno on this one was about 30,000. You know, everything was done at a wholesale price price. So 30,000 for 1600 square feet. And then we put about 12,000 into the decor. So all said and done, we're capital investment about 40, 42,000 out of pocket. January, February, March, we made 6,000 a month on this one. So we had an average of about three families, three guests stay here, three to four from tracking the record. So 6,000 versus what I was getting in end of 2019 was 1600. Today it's probably 2000, 1800 long-term rent, but you guys do the numbers, the math. It just makes sense for me to go full in on Airbnb. So many advantages that we could talk more about. Definitely, if you guys wanna learn more, hit me up. We also have our courses, so you could check those out. We're excited. We're gonna be launching those very soon.